When the kid comes into town, well, you take him fishing. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle, and thanks for tuning in to KSL Outdoors. Yeah, my daughter Madison, in from Spokane. Flew in. Wanted yeah. to go fishing. I love fishing. And what better place to go than Strawberry Bay Marina and Cameron? Uh, the fishing's been really good this year. It's been really consistent. Yeah. Um, we're we're gonna go out and hopefully have the same things happen that's happened all year, and that's get some fish on the ice. But we're gonna target cokes, and it's been a little a little tough. You gotta find them. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go look. Um, it's always fun to go after them. It's especially fun when we can get some other fish in the meantime. Let's go out. We have great ice conditions now. 20 inches, but the surface is awesome. You can drive ATVs on it right now. Just about anything you want to get where you want to go on the lake. Oh, we're 18 to 24 inches around the most, most reservoir. Um, haven't found anywhere that's really thin. So we just got here. We're going to get Madison set up. I'm going to set her up with the buzz bomb. Buzz bombs are really good. Tip them with a little bit of a maggot or corn uh, or anything else that you normally use in the summer, and it should work good. Uh, this is constant action, okay? okay? So get it down about 30 feet, 20 to 30 feet constant action. They're usually going to hit it on the drop. Okay, and it's just gonna be a little thump. You're, you're gonna feel weight, you gotta pop them. Right. Treble hook, and we'll get some maggots on there for you. You'll be ready to go. Buzz bombs, Swedish pimples, even uh, dodger and squid that you use in the summer and troll can work as well. Fish on. Yeah. Nice. I didn't even see it come up. That's a kokanee. I'm putting Madison's head in the hole. What? <laughs> it's a cutty. Oh, he came out backwards. Perfect. Not the species we're after, but that's a good one. Yeah, beautiful fish. It's a 19 inch fish. Cut strawberries just loaded with those dang slot cuts right now. At the kind of the way that this management structure happened over the last few years, and we're hoping that those fish in the next couple of years will find that 22 inch mark. Beautiful fish. And off we go. There he is. A lefter, left-hander. Acting like a cutthroat. Better be a coke if you're going back for lunch. <laughs> right. We need to get a kokanee. Acting like a cut, because it is a cut. Lots of food source in the lake this year, and pretty cuts. Got some good carryover on a lot of the cutthroats this year, so we have a maybe a three-year, four-year class fish now that's coming around, and they're, they look really good, really healthy. Um, might see quite a few fish this next summer over the slot limit. Okay, Daddy's over here. You're gonna have to get your own fish off. Good, good cut. That felt like a cut. Nice. Look at Pretty. that one. Pretty fish. Not, Not what we're after, though. Good you job. need to get one. I know. I, I stink. <laughs> Rub it in. What? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, that's a better shot. Catch kokanee at Strawberry, you have to invest some time, and if you aren't finding them, you've got to be willing to move to locate a school. Oh, he hit it, huh? I caught one last week, but only one. My best day on the ice at Strawberry is three. Kind of a bit frustrating if you can't find them. They're tough. They're beating us up today, but uh, they're there. Yeah, we just got to catch them at the right time. And when they're moving in, in, in their feed patterns. A lot of people have been really doing really well. They're catching kokanee. And the south end of the reservoir's been the best right now for them. Yeah, come in schools. You, if, if they come and you get one, you want to get down as quick as you can and get back on them again. They'll stick around for a minute. Yeah, he's there, he's there. Did he? Did he? Ooh, Cutty. Good one. Let me help you. Oh, he came out nice. Oh, he's all single. You got Cameron's line. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, Madison. Thanks. Now let your dad catch one. <laughs> there he is. Third time's a charm. You got a cut? You got a fish on him. No, that's a cut. <laughs> but it was on my Coke rig. Beautiful fish. Birdie. Once again, I don't have to get out of the chair. <laughs> He just grew four inches. Oh, there he is. Yeah, little one. 
This is acting like a cutthroat. <laughs> I'm no professional fisherman, but I don't think that's how you're supposed to catch them. Oh boy. Oh, oh back, back down, down, back down. Back down, don't reel. He's coming back to you, he's back on you. Nibble. Now. Hit him again. There we go, double. Getting work. I think they're bigger fish, they're just finicky. Nice cut. Lift him up. There you go. Nice. A nice one, huh? Yeah. We've had a really consistent year fishing so far. It's it's been good. It hasn't changed much with with that regard, and we haven't had many slow days. And just like today, we came out, we targeted kokanee, and we, you know, I think we iced 20, 25 cuts while we were out doing it. And so, heck, that's a good day. Is that dead stick again? Yeah, it's a dead stick again. Nice. Hey, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow finally! Something different. <laughs> Not a cutthroat. That's closer to a coke, Maddie. Good job. What was your very first fish you caught as a little kid? It was a rainbow trout. <laughs> and you talked about it at nauseum for years. I'm still talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I have found them everywhere. I have not found a particular density of them anywhere. I have been finding rainbows out here in the middle in 70 feet of water, catching them at 70 feet of water. I have found rainbows in at six feet of water where I expect them to be. They're there, catching them, there's not a lot to it. Just get your stuff down there and weed through enough cutthroats to pull a couple rainbows up out. There's a fish. All right, I got tired of not catching fish. So I put on a little tikka minnow that works really good at Gorge. And then you know, it works really good here. It feels like a decent cut, not a giant. First drop, it's fighting hard. A little skinny cutthroat, but a nice one. It's the same tikka minnow we've showed you for lake trout at Flaming Gorge. You can use cut bait at the gorge. You can probably use cut bait here. I'm just putting a little bit of millworm on it. Got to figure if it worked for Lakers, it would work for here, and lo and behold, it did. Well, we didn't get our butts kicked. We just didn't catch any kokanee. That happens. No, it does. <laughs> we had a great day. Yeah, it was nice. Beautiful on the ice. Hey, uh, boys, I hate to break it to you, but I think my daughter that lives in Spokane caught more fish than both of you. Hey, if we combine our totals... <laughs> You're about halfway there. We're good. We're good. <laughs> she outfished me. Hey, it's a good time always on the ice. So either when you're kid with your kids, your family, your friends, get up to Strawberry, man. There is memories everywhere you look up here. I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.